a title match. Two belts are at stake. Two belts, two wrestlers, one winner. Numero to dois. The undisputed Wrestle Force champion. Number Let's two. beat the wrestlers. Bilingual Billy Hayes. Testament. And the promoters have decided there is one man here at Chelsea this afternoon who now deserves a chance to become a double champion. Here comes the challenger. I thought I had the chance to become a double champion, but no. Maybe somewhere down the line, Billy, but who knows? Maybe you may end up wrestling this man if he's successful tonight. I think in one day I could get become a triple champion. A triple champion? Triple champion. I could take the two belts off of James and then take the belt and the tag belts off of Toner and Mike. I don't think... Now Ollie is coming into this match as a massive underdog. Absolutely massive. Well, he's no stranger to these sort of situations. You know, if there's you one be man careful. in Russell There Force, is a mic right next to his speaker right next to his head that he almost bashed his head on. Well, I'm going to say, there's one man who has as much experience as anyone is this man right here. Wrestling up and down the country constantly, every single weekend, for Russell Force, for other companies. Oh, oh, dear. I think you might have uh, jinxed him there, Billy. Did he hit his head? I think he hit his head. Ah. How funny. How hilarious. That's going to haunt Ollie later on. He's after both titles. Ollie P. I hope that doesn't throw him off tonight. Somehow I don't think it will, as we said. He has he had a lot of it. Well, well we will find out if he's good at hiding a concussion. You James Farrell has the mic. Here to understand one thing. We're listening. He requested this match a few weeks ago. So I don't want anybody else to, uh, to understand how this guy demands a title shot and gets one. But I'll tell you what, Oliver Peace, I'm glad you did. Because since I've been here at WrestleForce, I've won every match I've been in. I've beaten everybody that's Jack in this room with me. And you know it. Except one person. And that one person has foolishly requested to have a rematch with me. So all of the peace. When you're laying in the center of this ring, looking up at those lights, you need to understand one thing. It's nobody's fault but your own. Ooh. Strong words from the champion there, Billy. Strong words. One fall, one submission, or one knockout will decide. The unified WrestleForce champion, two belts, one wrestler. Referee Martin Williamson in he charge. He fighting before the bell. And good old shove. Get in Ollie's head. Too get in waste any time, head. especially Ollie Peace. Already getting the fans into it. Caring too much about the fans, some might say. 
potentially, but again, he's a veteran. He knows how to handle himself, and I don't think he's going to have any trouble. I'd say that. Go I might spoke it too soon. Leg dive from James Farrell. Letting the anger get control of him. Letting the anger get a hold of him. But it's not just him who is... It's James Farrell who he's angry at. He's angry at James Farrell for what has happened between Mark True and Kieran Lacey. But James Farrell played a part in that. He did. He, he, he played parts in twisting Mark's head. But, you know, like, I thought Mark, with his new, with his new energy, he, he won't be taking any sides anytime soon. I thought he was going to be going home. But turns out James Farrell was, was a little, little devil on his shoulder the entire time. Whispering words of poison in his ears. Ollie so Ollie Ollie Peace off. is in control. Now working on the arm. James Farrell is in control here. Spoke too soon, reverses out. Commentator's curse, Harry. Commentator's curse. That's it, actually. James got him under. Grabbing the wrist, yanking at the shoulder. Trying to trying to separate that shoulder of Oli Pace. Isolating the body parts. Smart, smart wrestling. Oli head flip from Oli. Flips James Farrell to his feet. He's out. Back two plex to two feet. Kick to the gut. Shuts him down. Stops him instantly. As soon as he gains momentum, every single time, just stopped instantly. Goes back to the tried and tested headlock. He shoots him, him off. Shoulder tackle. Big shoulder tackle. I think James Farrell thinks he's the man. Chelsea Theatre doesn't seem to agree. Drop down and leapfrog. Hit and toss from Ollie Pease. Drop kick from Ollie Pease. Vintage Ollie Pease, if you ask me. Slips out. He catches him with the elbow. He springs to the top. Slips lightly. Still manages to get a full cross body. Good recovery from Ollie Pease. Did not get the two though. James Brown now decided to take a break on the outside. That might, that might be because of the little slip. That might have been. That little slip managed to give James the time to recover a little bit before taking the next move. Very potentially. Potentially. And Ollie might not have been able to get all of it. As, as you hear commentators say a lot, I don't think he got all of that. Uh, you see, has James Farrell got the I microphone again? I thought he had a bottle of water. We started, oh, God. We, we got started on the wrong foot. He, he's hurt his chin so I apologize. He's may have caught him with and the ribs on the, on the diving crossbody right I now. want to start this match right. I don't want to start with the anger and the aggression. I can see you good. James taking taking the energy, bringing it right down, that. making sure he's the got referee, control of this match. Do me a favor. It's somewhat admirable. Ask the guys up there to start the match again. Oh, come on. There's nothing admirable about that, Billy. I mean, taking advantage of the ref's distraction. He, he, he told the ref to see if they could start the match again. And the ref wasn't looking. He hit him in the head. Oh, it's certainly unbecoming of a double champion in WrestleForce as he's now taking Ollie Peace for a ride around ringside. Now Ollie Peace decides he's not going to take that. Oh my the God. vicious patented club to the back. Famous by now. And an oh overhand shot. Oh my God. I thought that that mic shot would have shot Ollie Peace down, but it feels like it's woken him up. Oh, oh Pharrell going for a chop of his own. He hit the post. How much would that hurt his fingers? Could have potentially broken his fingers. Look, he's going to the ref and trying to see, shows has another patented club to the back. They hurt, ladies and gentlemen, they hurt. Took the world oh slam. Oh my god. He almost dropped him on his head. And the crowd are feeling it. He's going for a moonsault. Go on. Holly, patented Holly moonsault. And Pharrell rolls Straight out to the ring feet. to the Straight outside. To he might have moved too early. Holly managed to get compose himself mid-air exactly. and to his feet. Absolutely. If he moved a bit later, Ollie might have landed on his front and he might have been able to take advantage of that. But not Ollie, Ollie goes for a oh, no. James Farrell stops him dead in his tracks. 
using all his momentum against him. Oh, oh, famous on the line. apron. That was more of a Billy Gunn, I think. It's more of all of them. It was a com Somebody it was a combination, it. whatever it was, it was effective. <laughs> Referee's discretion on that one, using the ropes. James Farrell asking, who is the man? I don't know. I don't think the audience think he is. Show me on the ropes. Now, for those that don't know, those ropes are solid. They are rigid. You see people bouncing off them, and that's because they have so much strength in them that when you throw your weight into them, it pushes you back. So him pushing his throat into those ropes is massive, massive advantage for him. Side, Ru Ollie. Side Russian leg sweep goes to the cover. Lazy, lazy cover, too. if you ask me. Very lazy cover. Should have definitely worn him down. Maybe Pharrell just wants to inflict more pain on Ollie at this point. All the fans asking them to go back to wrestling. Well, he, he's applying a wrestling hold, a tried and true wrestling chin lock. A very nice wrestling chin lock. And really cranking in. You don't see many people in a chin lock do this. A lot of people just try to put the weight down. He's turning his head inwards. That is excruciating. I think he might be biting his head. I can't see too well. I can't see too well either. He, he, you know what? Knowing James Roll, he could. But Ollie Peace is trying to get back into this. Elbows to the gut, goes off the ropes. Back elbow, right under the chin of Ollie Peace. Might have caught him in the throat. If so, he's already targeted his bin pipe with that. Yeah, ref lock. Referee was right there to see if it was in the throat. Makes the cover. Only two. And another. He, he didn't manage to cover that left shoulder. He didn't manage to cover that left shoulder. We've seen a bit of frustration from the champion here. Stomp to the chest. I mentioned he was toying with him early. He might just want to finish piece now. Hooks him up for a suplex. Big suplex from James. Leaping at the end just to get that little bit of extra height so he can bring him back down. Pharrell really he seems to be acknowledging something wrong with his mouth. You know, it may be giving him problems from that crossbody earlier that you were talking about. I know some clutching at his mouth. Maybe the mouth might be a weak point for him that only could exploit at some point. This chin lock again it is a blood choke. It does stop the blood flying to the bone. It's very fast. There's that. There's that club to the back. Ducks the elbow this time, but he catches him with the clothesline. Line. Big clothesline. Big clothesline. Holds him down. Only a two. Only a two. I think he should have put the leg on that one. More pressure on the shoulders, but you know he seems to be fully in control of piece at this one. Kick to the arm. He, he didn't just kick him in the arm, he put his toes up and then kicked him underneath his bicep. Right in that middle bit where, where the muscles are separated. Now that's a lot of tendons, that's a lot of weak, weak, that's a weak part of your body. High elevation on the leg drop. Very nice cover there. Seems Full cover over weight. the shoulder, yeah. A lot more weight on him. James Rowe deceptively big. He is a large man. He's in full control of Ollie Pease here. He's giving him clubs to the back, but nothing in compared to Ollie's clubs to the back. Exactly, here's, here's examples of that exact... Pease showing you, here's, here's what a club to the back should feel like. He signs up. Is he going for his cutter? No. no I believe he calls his cutter piece out. Oh, forearm to the back, so right into the kidneys. Brings the arm around. Off the ropes. But Stop catches sorry. him. He's might be coming back. Something to him up. Could be the angle slam, maybe? Oli uh, grabs hold of the ropes. He's going to take advantage. He's down in the corner, Pharrell on the outside seems to want to be complaining to the referee. And Peace wants that in. He's almost losing him behind the curtain there. Got him hooked. And brings him back in the hard way. That mare takedown. Big clothesline from Molly. Jumping clothesline. Big back elbow from Molly. Another leaping. 
He's getting off his feet a lot to bring James off of his feet. Here we go. Bar oh, suplex. Is he going to go for a moonsault? In combination. Oh my god. Patented Ollie Peace. Butterfly suplex moonsault. What a beautiful moonsault, if you ask me. Beautiful standing moonsault. Just about hooked the leg. Only a two. But now the crowd firmly behind Ollie Peace now as he's looking to put away the double champion. What could he be going for now, Billy? He might be going, he might be going for a crossbody off the top. It was all effective for it. Affected the jaw of James Farrell. Could this actually get the pin this time? No, Farrell catches him. Stops him dead in his tracks. Seems like Ollie was a bit concerned for James there. Didn't go for the move straight away. Potentially disorientated. Potentially Are they going to be able to get Farrell? this superplex in this ring? May have not been in position yeah. to capitalise. There's not much height here. Headbutt to the jaw. Yeah, again, take, Ollie, Ollie's seeing James's jaw and taking advantage of it. Mm. Ollie slipped from the ropes there. Both men very tired. These ropes very, probably very slippery with the sweat of both men. You spring in, into the middle, moonsault for a second. Another beautiful moonsault, One, hooks him deep. Two. Oh, and he kicks out. That I thought Ollie close. had the, both the titles there. I thought he had them in the bag. That was as close as it's been all match, ladies and gentlemen. The crowd want Ollie to finish him. Which might, could this be the peace out cutter you mentioned before? No. No, he stops it. Again, Hits stops him it. Right in the kidneys. The Olympic Angle slam. slam. Angle, Olympic, whichever one you call it. Takes him high, drops him hard on the mat. Oh, no. Big kick up for Molly Peace. James Farrell looking like he doesn't know what the hell to do to Ollie to keep him down. And both men worse for wear. This has been a knockdown drag out ball. Ollie Peace really wants to win these two times. He wants to take those away from James Farrell. He wants him, wants him to know what it's like to lose something. I think tonight, after what happened with Mark True and Kieran Lacey, he wants it. This is personal for Ollie Peace, I think, as he rolls him up. Vintage Randy Orton. Only a two. Oh my god, he's got it out of nowhere. It's two? No. no. Did you see? James only managed to just get his shoulder up. If only managed to put some weight on that shoulder, he would be the new double champion. We could have had a double champion, hook the leg, put more weight on the shoulder. I don't even think he could have. I think, I think he would have. Both men just maybe too fatigued now, but Oli Peace trying to find that, that second gear as he goes up top. Could he hit the crossbody this time? He's trying to go full gear now. Here he goes. Cross body off the top. But Farrell went through. Running through. Picking him up. Deadlifts him off the floor. Look at the strength of this man. Onto his shoulders. What's he going for here? Just piece the out. No, he gets it. Angle, angle slam. Olympic high slam high again. angle. High angle. And that does it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God. Oh my goodness gracious me. I tell you what. He may not be popular, ladies and gentlemen. You may not like his attitude, but you have to show some appreciation for James Farrell. That was a hard-fought win. He did really well, man. Really well. Here is your winner, and still the unified champion, James Farrell!
There he is, your champion. I think he might have hurt his shoulder. He's not able to lift that title on his right side. You've been a terrible crowd. And James Farrell showing no respect for the audience here. They have been a terrible crowd, to be fair. Well, they've done.